Greetings from Jim, AG6IF. I've been playing around with uh, FL Digi and MT632KL. We use that in MCOM and sending uh, messages, 213 forms and other forms, and sometimes just plain old messages. And I've been an Arden mesh network guy for a long time, and I've got an Asterisk phone system connected up to the Arden mesh network in Southern California here. And I knew this would work, but I thought, okay, what we're going to do is, uh, uh, somebody's jamming on the wind system. Hold on, let me turn that down. Okay, there we go. All right, so I want to say, I want to send an, uh, send a message uh, without the speakers of my laptop here in the shack. We're going to record that on my extension. I've got a Southern California extension of 1010, 951-1010 for anyone on the mesh that has a phone. All right, and let's see if we can get that in and back. So here we go. Here's my GXP 2000 uh, Grand Stream phone. I'm going to call myself speaker phone 1010. And when it goes to leave a message, I'm going to send my my FL G message on MT63. All right. So that's going to answer here in a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm coming over here. Okay, it's ready to take a message here. Here's my message. All right, here we go. TX. left the message. Now, um, we can go ahead and play that message back. Guess what's going to happen? It's going to come right back in here. Of course, it's going to decode it. I'm listening to my microphone on the laptop here. There's my whistle. Here we go. Let's go get that message. Star 97. You have one now keep in mind, I got a bunch message. of radios playing. Press one more code here in the background and everything. Messages. Press okay, two to here we change go. folders. One to Press play the message. Three for advanced there we go. options. Press zero for mailbox first. Message received at eight fifty Message received. Okay. Press seven to delete this message. Press eight to forward the message to another user. Or nine to save this message. Oh, we'll save it. Which Watch. folder should I save this message to? Which folder? Press zero four new messages. One new messages. four old message. Zero me four. No more messages. Press three for advanced option. All right. So we saved the message. Receive the message. Uh, we should be able to go get it again. So how could you use this? In your MCOM, you could have a phone. You could have people send messages into your phone. Let's try this again. You have one new so message. I save the message Press as new. One for new Here we go. Message first one. message received. Let's come back over here. Here it comes. Interesting. Didn't come through as cleanly that time, did it? Press 7 to delete this message. 
I wonder if it saved it. Slightly different format. Press help. Which should I save this message to? Press zero four new. Zero four. No more messages. Press three for advanced options. Okay. I think my audio was a little overdriven. Let's try that again. Star nine seven. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit this time. You have one. New message. Press one four. Here we go. New first message received at 8 p.m. The time is 21 hours. Repeat operation. Yeah, I'm still missing a few characters. It didn't get them all in the subsequent reads. Interesting. I'm going to have to solve that one. Figure out what's going on. But the first time out, it was great. Once I saved it, both times, it uh, modified the audio just enough that it didn't quite come back the same way. The first time out, it came out fine. Very interesting stuff. Always thinking about ways to use uh, technology for MCOM. Anyway, the Art and Mesh Network is really nice when it's got phones and other services hooked up to it. So we can get drop off of there. All right. So this is Jim, AG6IF, just doing some experimentation tonight with, with the Mesh Network, Asterix phone system, and FL Digi with MT63 mode. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go figure out why the audio is different after I saved it. Uh, thank you for watching. AG6IF73.